archives of Prasar Bharti presents the timeless treasure of golden era. Sir, you were just mentioning that your father, one of his major innovations was to extend the range of the instrument to cover uh, three or more octaves. Ah. So, can we have a small demonstration on that technique? Ah. Yes. My daughter, Narbuda, will step on seats. First, I am taking Sankarabhana Raga. Sari ga ma pa da ni sa Sa ni da pa ma ga ri sa She will play it in three speeds in three octaves. Wonderful. Start from G string. Basic. Mandra sai. Mandra sai. second variety with gamaham uh, uh, this we have to use one finger mm. uh, re ma ga ga pa ma it is in three speeds the same type sankara with gamaka this with gamaka same exercise now. with gamaka no second stage yeah. so that we can play gamaka also Rabajadi with Verlady. Sa ri ga ma ga ri ga ri sa. Ri ga ma pa ma ga ma ga ri. You have to use all the fingers. One, two, three, four.
just english type of moving sa ga pa ma re ba ni ta pa ma ga de this two speeds are mm. three whatever after that he, he it will teach varnam that is varnam is very very important for getting gamakas we will take one varnam kalyani varnam in aditala
variants of various ways of bowing now this will play in tanavil she's going to play now first thing we will play in two strings and now this will be played in one string and we have to change it take as mandra tandi ma as sajja then we have to play this way the whole varna on one string whole varna in mandra sajja special practice mm. so just you will demonstrate it in one column yeah. this is saveri raga This is the way to practice. Mm. the way we have to practice all the varnas now mm. if you practice sagra varnam then we have to practice uttarang kalyani mm. just to take if you take visuddha purvang raga that is suddha madhya raga okay then you have to play in practice in uttarang raga okay. that is 1 2 3 suddha madhyam ma 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 tu the say ma 3 in prathamatiba mm. this a very varnam you have to practice so that we'll be playing raga and swara mm. with clear notes mm. now in steel also he'll mm. play Mm. 
it is very very amazing i am sure this is just the tip of the iceberg as they say <laughs> the amount of importance that uh, your father and of course you give to the basic mastering of an instrument technically you know i am sure he was also very inspired by uh, listening to great uh, masters of the western violin because uh, that inspiration is makes it possible for mastery of this instrument you know so it is very wonderful to see and how that is very uncompromising there are no compromises which are possible here i know how difficult it is to <laughs> achieve even come to come close to this thank you very much narmada ji also for demonstrating yeah uh, most so wonderfully sir getting back to your uh, childhood days it will be wonderful to for us to know about uh, what kinds of things you used to do other than practicing uh-huh. what kind of friends you had what kind of mischief you got into on a daily routine in a valiad what kind of games you will play in the evening or yeah. your uh, visit to the temple your visit to concerts when you were a very small boy i used to go to temple with my father weekly twice okay so in must, madras in madras okay. kapaleshwar ko kapaleshwar temple okay every weekly twice that is on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Any particular reason? No, no. Wednesdays and Saturdays. Okay. Otherwise, we had to spend some time. We'll, he will also go to Marina Beach. Okay. Then occasionally we go for pictures. Uh-huh. And I like uh, library reading. Uh-huh. That is uh, Perry Mason novels and okay. other things. Okay. I am very much interested in cricket also. Okay. and whatever the match i will uh, hear the commentary first okay <laughs> and nobody can stop me because mm. during that time we'll get through radio okay just before that uh, if it's not about relay mm. we will attend the match for one or two days wonderful in madras yeah. really okay i used to have very good uh, during test match and uh, you, i used to get commentaries those are good great players vijay merchant amar north uh-huh. in india okay and Uh, Australia Bradman Donald Bradman and uh, Harvey okay uh, Miller and Lindwall ah. English uh, Evans okay uh, Led Hart Hutton Hammond Led Hutton West yeah. Indies uh, Weeks Worrell Everton Weeks uh, great, yeah. players. great players great yeah. players if they play ah. I will forget <laughs> I am very much used to mm. then I also play this uh, Dayam Dayam okay <laughs> Yeah. I do play small chess but not uh, much. Okay. It's kind of interesting to see that the players whom you listed as your favorites yeah. were also great uh, perfectionists and masters of touch. Yeah. Rather than just brute force yes. and power. Yeah. They they had a technique which was very very solid and graceful. <laughs> so, do you still uh, enjoy watching cricket or listening to cricket commentary even today? Definitely. Say Sehwag or Dhoni or uh, Ricky Ponting any Definitely. of these. Definitely. You continue But, your uh, passion for I find there is no that kind of standard now. Uh, that kind Only of Only Australia plays well. Mm. Still. <laughs> okay. Our Indians are playing well but uh, not up to standard. Okay. Old and days they are played well. Okay. In your very young days do you remember tra- other than for concerts? Huh. Do you remember going for picnics or of course like you said your your mother passed away very young. So did you go out with your father other than to temple and concerts? I will go to some beach or some beach okay. Then you know, my we are coming from orthodox family. Okay. We have to do sandhyadana. Mm. Madhyanikam and okay. sandhyadana. Okay. That the morning 5 o'clock and 11 o'clock madhyanikam. Mm. even at 6 o'clock sandhyanaram okay and every auspicious day avani out on i said we have to do mm. performances at gayatri jabam okay this is the very essential thing okay so my father used to say only we do then we will be called the brahmins okay uh-huh. and i learned also some vedas wonderful jaja durga suptam purusha suptam okay sri suptam bhagya suptam and other mm. things and i took sanskrit as my second language mm. and like mathematics also mm. what are the quiz program mm. i used to do very learn. well okay. okay but in studies i am only uh, standard okay. i will like, score only 60 to 70 <laughs> not sent up you know you were concentrating on on your practice and playing ah. that time so you also very enjoyably reminisced about your favorite subjects like math and uh, sanskrit 
can you tell us which school you studied and ah. who were your favorite teachers do you remember some of your oh, yes. masters and teachers ah. subject teachers at that time i studied first in centenary elementary school mm-hmm. that is conducted by ramakrishna ho mm. up to 5th standard then ps secondary school branch of ps high school for first to third form third form then ps high school fourth fifth sixth mm. and i like sanskrit uh, masters okay and because i used to get always the prizes for sandhyandana okay <laughs> the other subjects are because i am a study student uh-huh. and i won't go for any fighting okay so you very I play very well i didn't uh, play for cricket okay just i play some football okay then i forgot it okay. because it will hurt my legs my father used to say okay you scared <laughs> that you will hurt ah. yourself your teachers by this time i think by the time you were in 4th 5th 6th even the teachers knew about your your playing you were already performing by the age of 8 uh-huh. so what kind of uh, did they take a lot of pride in you and your family uh-huh. and uh, like for example now we see so many inter school competitions uh-huh. and all that and teachers uh, sometimes encourage exceptional talent in oh, the students yes. so do you have any memories about uh, teachers really admiring you and encouraging you in your in your violin playing Oh, yes. I used to take part in violin competition okay. conducted by school. Okay. And I always get the first prize. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Then in the Music Academy in 1946, uh-huh. when I was studying 9th standard, mm. I got the first prize. Mm. That is a memorable one. Okay. So many prizes I got. Why do you say it was memorable? Because Did it inspire you in a particular way? It is a prestigious way? place, okay. Music Academy. Okay. Okay. and they were doubtful they asked me are you professional or not <laughs> then i told them they want the certificate from the school, school. <laughs> just to make sure that then i student. told them fourth form i got the prizes okay wonderful <laughs> very nice <laughs> we all know that you started performing on the concert stage very very early are there any striking memories or incidents or uh, things which still remain with you about uh, performing about a particular performance or about something which happened uh, very very early during school oh, days or just around uh, that time definitely when i once accompanied pandit ogarnath in 1944 mm. at bombay uh-huh. big conference ogarnath sang very well and he also asked me to play very sangathi and okay. i played well by uh-huh. god's grace uh-huh. then one of the audience came to the stage and asked me uh, presented with 1000 uh, rupees on that day my god and pandit ji ogarna ji mera beta hai ah. he gave okay this i cannot forget and in, in many carnatic concerts also in tirupati ah. and uh, i am a follower of raghavendra swami mm. he is a pratishtha deva for me what are the things all the gods are i, I like okay. but especially <laughs> ishta devata ishta mahad yeah. yeah. raghava chandra swami raghavendra and the mangala chali guru ayarappa okay so very where if i go to temple okay and have a, i will have a special darshan uh. by my friends when was the earliest you went to did you visit mantralayam or anything very early mantralaya after marriage only i okay. went okay what about uh, guru vayur Guru Vaiyar, I used to go before. Went also. so many times, okay. and also I have participated in Guru Vaiyar Eka this year. Uh-huh. This year also, they are honoring me with the Chembe Award. Okay, wonderful. On Guru Vaiyar Eka this year, on 16th of this month. Great, great. And I am also playing with my son uh-huh. and daughter. Wonderful. It's a prestigious because there are I have got more than hundred awards. Mm. And like you said, you had. the occasion to play with chambe vaidyanath bhagavadar many times all the artists so, yeah because the so this award is, is more relevant ah, also you they have a, instituted a award in this because just like different type of bowling okay. spin fast ah, okay. because chambe thinks one way mm. narval and tonami specialist okay gnb mm. outs then musiri mm. solo so whatever they sing we have to play accordingly so we will get the style uh-huh. so we have to be more careful because on that day everybody wants to 
outshine the accompaniments. Okay, okay. Anyhow, I passed it by uh-huh. my father's blessings. Yeah, it was a very wonderful time where there was a very healthy kind of rivalry on stage where between the accompanists and the main artists. Sir, continuing with your journey, when now you are at the peak of your uh, professional career, you are called uh, to all four corners of the globe to perform uh, for various kinds of audiences. So, if we can know a little bit about your foreign tours, travels and uh, very wonderful incidents when in all your travels that you've had. Okay. In 1975, I went to States huh. for Carnatic solos okay. uh, arranged by Dr. Ananta. Mm. I gave 15 performances in various places. Okay. There, the audience are very disciplined huh. and the duration be without, uh, two hours without interval, I okay. played. Okay. And they like, this, uh, that is, whatever we play, huh. we have to announce them what is a raga, what is a thala. Mm. Then only they can understand. Every item we have to announce and they simply, they will be happy after each item they used to collapse. Okay. And the end, they collapse. But if they like very much, huh. they clap and told once more. Once more. Uh-huh. I got it so many times. Okay. Everywhere. Okay. That's it. Your audience was mainly Indian or also composed of? Both. Both. Indians and Europeans. Okay. And once in German, Cologne radio, huh. completely all Germans. That's, huh. I went for Hindustani next year. Okay. 76. Okay. Uh, Lalji Gokhale accompanied on Tabla. Okay. There, Geneva. Huh. And Cologne Radio, Frankfurt, and radio, they have arranged a, a live concert night in the 9.30 to 11. Okay. All German audience, huh. I played Hindustani, they were overwhelmed. Huh. And they wanted once more, twice. <laughs> See, it's a, I'm very happy mm. that I played before all German audience. When then, was this? 1976. 1976. Then so they will come and ask, uh, every, what is, how are you gliding? Mm. How are you bowing? Mm. And we have to explain them. Okay. Because gliding means they, won't, they are specialists in bowing, yeah. not in gliding. So I will tell them. And how are you uh, putting your legs? <laughs> The, the posture. They, everything is surprised. Yeah. He's very new to them. Uh, I told them this is our habit. Huh. This is our tradition. Huh. Then they'll be happy. And, and why are you putting sacred uh, ash? <laughs> 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 that is very essential for us. It will save hmm. and it, it has the sacred uh, blessings of God. Okay. According to our Hindu faith, okay. I told them. So, 1972 was your first tour abroad? 75. My father okay. told me, uh-huh. till I am alive, uh-huh. you don't, he didn't allow to go for okay. foreign. Okay. But in 1952, he came with me, that is he allowed. Okay. That is when you went to Afghanistan? After father also came. Okay. So, he is afraid of this. No, no, no. Uh-huh. And he also predicted uh-huh. after me, they were going to another. Okay. 74, he passed away. Huh. Immediately, 75 for Carnatic, 76 for Hindustani, okay. States, Europe, okay. London, huh. first USA and Canada. Okay. So, I have also sightseeing Niagara huh. Falls okay. from America, Buffalo. Huh. Here, uh, Canada, I have seen. Very nice place. Okay. And I have traveled in helicopter also. Uh-huh. Over the falls. Ah, and Geneva, uh-huh. I went by cable car. Mm. And one thing happened. Mm. The cable car was stuck up in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> you t- then we have uh-huh. Murthanga Mishanadir, I took him. Okay. He's very afraid. Kutrala Mishanadir. Ah. Okay. So I told him, because I am a Raghavendra Bhakta, mm. chant this mantra. Mm. Within two minutes, uh, everything was all right. Mm, okay. This is my experience. Okay. <laughs> okay. And weather is very cold. Mm. Uh, but due to central Condition, heating arrangement, yeah. we didn't find any difficulty. But for performance, uh. I wore my traditional dress only. Okay. Otherwise, I have to wear pants and suits. Sweater and shoes. And, and you have to be careful. You have to always wear uh. socks. Okay. Otherwise, the legs will be... Become cold, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Become nigh. Okay. 
very difficult and you, you must be very careful mm. and eat your diet also mm. because they are all mostly non vegetarian mm. mm. i am a strict vegetarian okay so i took only fruits and uh, milk and uh, bread okay <laughs> <laughs> they were uh, surprised why why you are taking only this thing mm. this may have it mm. uh, will you not taste it no okay. i never <laughs> okay and in france huh? i gave a concert they wanted me to record it. Huh? so i recorded one lp record i have given there okay and radio also i played there huh? very good arrangement okay and frankfurt i have given three performances all german audience okay everywhere my god's gave wherever he played mm. i got once more twice okay they didn't leave me and how by everything went off very well yeah and arrangements are very nice and chicago i played with sultan khan sarangi okay and zakir hussain accompanied tabla ha it's a wonderful performance mm. they have also made it CD. Okay. But I didn't get a cop. <laughs> I was told my friends. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anything. Successful mm. trip. And our South Indian audience, if I go, please, we want some combo, G, by the way. For mm. them, I played. Okay. But the foreigners who won't understand mm. because they can't release. Okay. And they said, we would like only instrumental music mm. at that time. Huh. Now, Kalis has gone, established their schools. Okay. Okay. and not they are very shrewd people they have everything wherever they go uh. they establish a school uh. ravi shankar okay. chaurasia jasraj mm. everybody ali akbar now only south indians are making okay. lessons public schools okay. and my students also taking lessons there uh-huh. is very happy Wonder- during this time since you still are a very uh, traditional uh, orthodox person when you traveled abroad things like your sandhya vandanam and yeah, all fair. those things uh, yeah, you, you wherever i stay okay. i won't lay will perform sandhya vandanam okay no madhya nigam there okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no time could skip and... yeah the iccr concerts are sometimes a different kind of experience because uh. you are probably suppose you are playing and playing in africa uh. or say athens or something like that uh. the audience is going to be very uh. Uh, belonging to that country uh. So how is performing for them different from performing for our Indians abroad? If Indians are there, I have to play some more uh, heavy Carnatic okay. and Hindustani. Mm. They will ask some items also. Sir, okay. I have heard you. Ah. I want this okay. to play. Okay. So for them, I will play. Okay. And Jugal Bandhi, that is before giving Jugal Bandhi, ah. myself and my daughter Narbada, ah. will give uh, carnatic for half an hour okay hindustani uh, chauresha half an hour solo uh-huh. then jugal bandi okay. for 40 minutes uh-huh. it was uh, really they appreciated like anything mm. in the south africa mm. uh, durban okay then in bombay i have given so many concerts mm. shambhukhanda also okay recently i gave uh-huh. with the chauresha mm. and pune mm. bombay this number of performances i'm playing i have already played with uh, this amja dali huh. vijay joke in okay. bangalore okay and uh, flute uh, i told you mm. ram narayan pandit ram, ram narayan, narayan sarangi yeah. and bombay xavier's college okay. that i played hindustani huh. yes because both both of you played ah, hindustani in some places i played carnatic okay in some places i played hindustani okay. in jaipur uh-huh. i played hindustani with chauresia okay so they wanted me okay. in that way okay but performance was very successful okay. and hari ji also uh-huh. very happy with it 